So, episode 100, what the heck, how did we get here, I don't even know. Pretty cool, pretty awesome, this is something that when I started I just kind of did it just because I wanted to try it out and see how it was and it's been a wonderful time. So it's crazy that I'm posting my 100th video, like that's so crazy to me. I appreciate all my subscribers that I have so far, I hope to gain more. Uh, that would be wonderful. It'd be so great. Tell all your friends, bring them all along. It would be a great time. So let's start it off by talking about the Major League Baseball postseason. So crazy, so exciting. It's a wonderful thing for the game of baseball to have the postseason that we just witnessed. It goes all the way back to the American League Wild Card Series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Toronto Blue Jays and the whole, you know, should they or should they not have brought in Zach Britton? What would have happened there? Who knows? The tremendous offense of the Blue Jays in the next round were just stifled by the Cleveland Indians pitching staff. It was unbelievable. And then you hop over to the other league, the National League. You got, uh, you know, Clayton Kershaw coming in to close out the game, that clinching game against the uh, Washington Nationals. And then they moved on, and that was so unbelievably exciting. It was crazy. And then that series against the Cubs that just, you know, it was back and forth in a battle. However, before that even happened, you know, the Cubs were almost eliminated by the San Francisco Giants. Like, that was insane. That was such a tremendous, exciting series there, too. And then, you know, and then the Dodgers and the Cubs back and forth, and the Cubs obviously, you know, came out on top there. However, if you look at it, the contrast is interesting. The Cubs literally had to battle all the way through the postseason. They had to fight and scrap and make their way to the inevitable you know, world champions that they are now. You know, the Cleveland Indians lost one game on the way to the World Series. And it was pretty easy for them. They cruised right through. It was crazy. That's a tremendous team. My hat's off to them. You can't, uh, you know, discount what they've done and what they did this postseason. Moving forward, they're going to be very dangerous, so keep an eye out. But the Cubs did it. Congratulations to the Chicago Cubs. Was it 108 years now? <laughs> you know, since their last championship, that's insane. So good for them. Getting over the curse, moving forward. No more Billy Goats. So good for them. I'm, a, I'm really happy for that team. I'm really happy for the Cubs fans that have been here and been fans all along. Good for them. That's super exciting. But yeah, here we are, episode 100. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Literally, I have no clue. So stay tuned. I just got back from the Rowdy Brewing Company grand opening. It starts today, November 3rd, and it goes through the weekend, through the 6th. That's the grand opening. So if you're in the Ranch Cucamonga area, head on out to Rowdy's grand opening time. Good stuff, delicious beers, wonderful people, beautiful establishment. So make sure you make it. So let's see what happens next. I really don't know what's gonna happen. So stay tuned. Morning, everybody. It's uh, October 5th, Saturday. Stop at Starbucks. A venti iced white mocha. White chocolate mocha. I don't know. Going to a pretty cool event out in Santa Ana today in Orange County. So that should be pretty cool. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that when we get out there. 
in the meantime, I'm going to hit the road, Jack. So I made it out to Santa Ana, out here in Orange County, California, for uh, Noche de Altares, which is a Day of the Dead event out here in Santa Ana. But this should be a lot of fun. Episode 100 has a family theme today. Should be good. Let's go check it out. Apparently this is the uh, food court. I don't know. It's like lots of delicious stuff. Tacos, lemonade. I smell lots of fish and different things. I don't know what that lady said. It smells awesome. So this thing apparently just goes everywhere. There's a stage down there at the end of that street. There's some more fun stuff over there. And down here is all the different altars for the different loved ones that are being celebrated today. Let's go check those out. Sit out here at uh, Noche del, uh, how do you say it? Altares, I guess. Uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if I pronounce that right. But, anyways, I'm gonna go get something to eat. We didn't end up eating anything at the event. I'm gonna go find something else. Not really sure what yet. Unfortunately, this video will be up before this event's over. Otherwise, I'd say if you're in the area, come on out. But I know it ends at 10 o'clock tonight. It's about to get excruciatingly crowded in probably just the next few hours. It's a really cool event, so you know, keep an eye out for a Day of the Dead event in your area and go check it out. Now check out this Santa Ana City Hall building. 
I mean, it looks like it's straight out of Gotham City. It's so cool, I love that architecture. Look at those guys. There's even one like up there. See him? Look at this. Zoom on in. Look at that guy. Looking over Gotham City. It's pretty sweet. I wish more buildings look like that these days. So sometimes you come to Kmart for pizza. It happens. Especially when that Kmart has Little Caesars. Yum. Oh, there's already some gone. Somebody stole the pizza. So yeah, that was a fun day. Uh, actually, after eating pizza, actually while I ate pizza, I actually watched the new Ghostbusters movie for the first time. I thought it was good. I mean, I can understand why people are kind of bummed out about it. It's obviously not like the originals. You know, it was cool to see the cameos of the cast members from the original two movies, so that was really cool that they came out to support that movie. I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was funny. I thought it was entertaining. But like I said in the past before, uh, when I did like an album review, I tend to go into like movies and music you know, with an open mind, always. And I tend to enjoy, you know, more things more often than not because I'm not setting myself up for disappointment and expecting too much out of it. So I had a wonderful time watching it. It was a good movie. I recommend it. I say check it out. I think the cast is excellent. It was a fun day today. Episode 100. It's finally coming to a close. It's funny, all this time I was trying to figure out what the heck was I going to do for episode 100. I needed to do something grand and amazing. And really didn't have to uh, really think outside the box too much. Just had to go do something fun. And I think it turned out pretty good. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Thumbs up if you like the video. Leave some comments down below. Say hello. Let me know if you've been out to a Day of the Dead event this year. Uh, let me know about the ones in your area. Uh, tell me all about it. Love to hear about it. Uh, also, hit subscribe wherever that button may be. Please subscribe. Come along on some more adventures. It'll be a lot of fun. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Back to work tomorrow. Keep your heads up. Stay positive. Peace, guys.